it's Memorial Day and I don't know this is kind of a private moment a private private video just a reflection of my thoughts you know every day is Memorial Day to a family of our fallen military and so it we don't need a day really we don't need anything to remind us that our loved one gave all for this country paid the price full price of freedom and so you usually don't find me in any kind of ceremonies or parades or anything because I most of the time couldn't take it if I was there you know just too emotional I would rather be giving than than being a part of something but again a private reflection so what do I do on Memorial Day I, I wait until really everybody has come and gone from anything that may be happening from any cemeteries or any city events and I look for a quiet grave site in the middle of nowhere where some people may have come or may not have come and what I do is I walk around the graves I try to find the oldest cemeteries I can and I walk among the gravestones and I look for battle casualties. I look for those who gave their lives in service to our country, regardless of generation. So at times I could find heroes that died from the revolution or from the civil war or from World War I or II or Vietnam or Korea. Um, and I call their names. I stop, I place an honor remember flag on their graves, and I call their names out loud. And so here I am in the middle of North Carolina, in a very small town, and it really doesn't matter the name of that town or the grave that I'm, I'm finding, but know that Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of men and women have given their lives for our country. And the least that we can do is remember them and appreciate them. So I, as I travel amongst the graves, I'm going to flip this around if I can. Maybe not because I'm not good at technology. No, it doesn't want to flip. So I'll just flip it around. As I walk among the graves, I see American flags. And I know that loved ones or VSOs have come to this hallowed place and placed American flags on veterans' graves. Not all of them have died from battle casualties, but all have served and died in their own time. But as you walk around and you read the names, sometimes you will find a name and a date that is referenced to a war. Today I found those that died in World War II someone who died in Afghanistan in 07. And even a name of a soldier that I believe maybe took his own life at 36 after Vietnam. And so I, as I take these moments privately, I just share with those that may see this in the future, that the important thing to do is to never forget. Never forget the hundreds of thousands and millions who have given their lives and lost their lives through the hidden sacrifice, through those hidden wounds of post-traumatic stress or whatever they called it 
in past generations and call these names out loud. Walk by these graves and call these names out loud. This should be your Memorial Day tradition, whether it's done publicly in a group or individually and privately. Please remember that their sacrifice is immensely important. These men and women put their lives on the line. They signed that blank check. And many of them came home, wonderfully so, to continue their lives. And they should be honored. And those that didn't get to come home and raise their families and get on with their careers should be magnanimously remembered. Because as, as I have heard it said eloquently, they gave their todays so that we could have our tomorrows. God bless you all and thank you for participating in this mission of honor and remember, of perpetually recognizing the sacrifices of our fallen men and women and their families. Thank you.